What's good, everybody? You watching Setting the Record Straight with Peter Anderson. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and hit the notification bell for more updates. Let's get right into it. I think I got it now. I think I got it. So, ladies, y'all so used to dealing with and dating trash dudes, y'all don't have to face y'all flaws because y'all used to being the best one in a relationship. Y'all used to carrying that dude on your back, right? So when a dude actually cares about you and wants you to better yourself, you start to question if you enough. Hold on. Hold on, fellas. I think I got it. So that's why y'all turn down the dudes that already got themselves put together. Because when a dude comes to you and he already got his drones put together, we force you to work on yourself and you don't like that. Because you so used to having the upper hand in a relationship. You got to have the upper hand. A dude coming to you put together, he's making you work on yourself and you don't like that. I get it now. I got it. Uh, I got it now. Okay. You hear that, fellas? You hear that? That's facts for that face. Take care. Hmm. That's, that's, that's very interesting. <clears throat> Man. So let me get this right. Say it ain't so, ladies. Are you saying, I mean, is he saying that y'all might be thinking, oh man, we usually are the ones that got it put together in the relationships. So when a good man actually comes by, there's something that you don't like about him and that something could possibly be because he got his stuff together and you like fixer uppers. That's why a lot of dudes, I don't understand why women will get with dudes that don't got a job or get a, get with dudes that... Uh, don't have a house to stay in or don't have an apartment. So is this what's happening? Like, it's not just that y'all like bad boys or something or you like guys that you can fix up. So the the mirror of accountability won't be looking at you. It's always on him because he always has something that he needs to fix. Is that what y'all do? So y'all can kind of feel like y'all have the upper hand in the relationship? That's kind of, that's kind of narcissistic. If you think, I'm going to find me a, a broken puppy because I want to be able to be dominant over the broken puppy morally, uh, physically, uh, financially. That's a little narcissistic. If you, if you think about it. That's that's actually that's toxic. But we 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 got words like toxic masculinity, but we don't have words like toxic femininity because it just don't make any, any sense. That femininity is not toxic, and masculinity ain't toxic. But whatever, we hey look, is that what it is, ladies? I mean, let me know, <laughs> look, fellas, if that's what y'all think it is, let me know in the comment se section. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think this is, cause I think this brother got a got a point here. Oh, so, I've been seeing this pattern too, but you know I don't, you know I couldn't put my fingers on it. I think this young brother put his fingers on right on it, and I don't, I know what y'all is gonna say. Y'all gonna say nothing because y'all not gonna admit this, or some of y'all don't even know that's what y'all are actually doing. Till we meet again. Sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope that y'all take it.